What's up everybody? My name is Galen and this is Galen's Gadgets. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And if you have not already, please do not forget to like and subscribe. So today I have a special treat for you. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the Yame watch. Um, I was really a big fan of the original version of this watch and it looks like they had a big 2020 update to it. So the complete design change uh, looks like the software changed a little bit. And so I will be showing you guys um, this watch. Um, shout out to Yame for sending me this watch for review. So let's get to it. I'm about to be on. Been on this mission since I first left home. Pack up my bags like I'm grown. Told myself to show myself to do no wrong. Okay, so the design of the packaging on this is pretty clean. Um, it's different from the packaging that came before. It was a square. This is a long rectangle. So it's most likely going to have the watch laying down. Um, not really a lot of information on the actual box. You can see I got the green color um, and then just the support information. Okay, yep, nothing on the other. Just the barcode. Let's take that off now. Okay. Ooh. Really loving this green band. Let's see if I got anything else in here. Okay. Looks like I got a free one year warranty. Charger. Let's see what kind of charger that is. Curious to how that charge. I'll unpackage that in a little bit. Your normal customer service guide. Okay, your instruction manual, I believe. Okay, and your charging instructions. Yep, okay, so to the actual watch. Whoa. Really loving this. Really loving this green color. Taking the sticker off. Oh wow! Loving the bill quality on this. The glossy back. It's one of my favorite things about watches. I love uh, watches with the glossy back on the fitness tracker. I really like the round design on this. It looks like it's a full screen. You can see it's a little bezel actually. Let me try to power it on. Wow, came up automatically. Ooh, the watch faces are already better, I can tell. Okay, I'm gonna play with this for a little bit and get back with you. So I just paired this watch up and I downloaded the app that you have to pair it with. It is called the Only Fit app. This is Yame's brand new app to go along with this brand new watch. Um, it looks pretty clean so far from what I see. Um, as you can see, just on that home screen, you get your general fitness data, your heart rate data, and then your sleep data. And then when you go to the next screen, this is going to be all of your fitness data. And you can also click on those footsteps and it will show you a calendar so you can track your past days, weeks, or month. Okay, and then the next tab, uh, these are just your general watch settings. Um, one big thing that I've seen so far is there a new dial center so you can actually download these watch faces to your uh to your watch i remember um on the other yame watch there are only like three or four watch faces you can download any of these and then there are around five on the actual watch itself so you can choose any of those designs um it has a notification reminder so you can choose what notifications you want to receive alerts for on your watch um, alarm clock, sedentary reminder, uh, so you're not sitting down too long. You have a do not disturb mode. Um, you have the lift wrist for the black, uh, bright screen. So when you pick up your watch, your screen automatically comes on. You have heart rate monitoring, uh, remote photography, so you can take pictures using controls on your watch. You can switch the language if you'd like. Um, you can find your watch. Um, when you press this, it just vibrates. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's vibrating now. 
um, you can do uh, there's a fir firmware update as you can see I'm updated already um, the dust to device version and then you can reset to factory settings and um, unconnect from your watch on the screen okay and then the last tab is just some general information you can put uh, right here you just put in your weight and all of that information to help uh, track your fitness more accurately um, you can set a step goal units okay and then that's about it for the app so now to the watch um the highlight of this watch is definitely the build quality i really like how this watch is built it has a very nice design it really reminds me of the samsung galaxy active uh 2 just that design um just the full screen and then the silver on the outside that's what it reminds me of uh, it feels really nice as well um, the bands are extremely comfortable and then just the perimeter of this watch and the casing just feels very premium like it really feels like aluminum or metal um, they did a really good job on the finish of this watch and another thing I like about the belt quality is that these bands are replaceable um, and they are under like that universal 22 millimeter standard so you can just take that out and replace it with another 22 millimeter band. Um, right now, my Fossil Sport, I just took the band off of there and this actually fits. It's gonna be hard for me to do it behind the tripod. Let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna be so proud of myself if I can. Okay. Got it, got it to click. Okay, so as you can see, it's easily uh, switchable, so you can go on eBay and Amazon, look up whatever style of band you want, and you'll be able to uh, plug it on there. So uh, now the actual software. There have been a lot of updates in the software that I really like. Uh, for example, the first things first, uh, the watch face, when you hold it for three seconds. Uh, wait, I just got rid of it. Yeah, that's a notification. I'll show you that later. Okay, so when you hold it for three seconds and then swipe, you get all of your watch face options. All of these look way more modern than the watch faces um, on the last generation of the Yame watch. Just the UI in general just looks more updated and polished. So I'm just going to choose that one for now. Okay, uh, when you swipe down, you get a few quick toggles. You can adjust your brightness, go to your settings. Um, search for your phone or uh, turn on do not uh, the do not disturb and uh, when you swipe up from the home screen you get your uh, notifications and then when you click on it you get more information and then you can swipe it away and then there's that I'm just gonna clear that okay when you swipe right I really like this um, so a lot of people who have an Apple Watch or who use Google Fit will know these rings, these just help track your fitness. It's just like a visual representation of um, your different goals. So you have a steps goal, a mileage goal, and a calorie goal. When all of these rings close, you just met all of your goals for the day. So if I were to take a few steps, my, uh, my steps ring would start to uh, go over a little bit. Okay, and then that's the heartbeat sleeping i uh, just put this on so i haven't been able to track that here are your different kinds of uh workouts that you can track okay you have music playback that carried over from the last generation of the yame watch and i believe that's about it okay and when you swipe left you just get all of these general buttons so yeah, I'm really feeling this watch so far. I really like, uh, like I said before, I love the build of it. It just feels super clean and premium. It feels way more than the $40 that they're charging for it. And they have a lot of very useful software tweaks. So I will be wearing this watch as my everyday watch for around two weeks now. And I will come back to you guys with a review. Um, if you have any questions in the comments, feel free to leave them. And I will address them in my full review. Thanks for watching.
again. 